For nearly a hundred years, AFSC has responded to violence and injustice in the world by healing the wounds of war and by working to address the root causes of violent conflict. As we enter our second century, we're ready to challenge the deeply held notion that violence and militarism can resolve problems. The evidence is on our side. Nonviolent methods produce lasting, positive change, and we believe the world is ready to embrace them. We also believe that young activists in cities and villages around the world are most able to lead us to this new way of living. So we're supporting a growing cohort of courageous new leaders, and we're helping them build the skills to create a life-affirming future for all of us. If you share our vision of a secure, sustainable world rooted in love and equality, we invite you to invest in our Courageous Acts campaign. To guarantee another 100 years of AFSC, you can help build our endowment. I want to see these experiments in a new way of life continue after I'm gone. And so the endowment fund will enable the AFSC to continue uh, in a way more solidly than worriment about the vicissitudes and the ups and downs of the economy from year to year. To help develop creative new ways to challenge violence and injustice, you can contribute to our strategic initiatives. We believe that conflicts around the world can be resolved by nonviolent means. AFSC knows that as a fact because we have been working around the world for a hundred years now and we will continue to use our experience to propose real life solutions for a better future. To support the next generation of organizers and change makers, you can underwrite an internship or fellowship. We feel it's important to catch young people at an age when they're idealistic and want to do something to help the world, the, make it a better place. I'm working with Bonnie Carness and Audrey Latulo in the Newark office for the Prison Watch program. Essentially what we do there is we work with people who are incarcerated in local prisons within the United States. My focus will be the indigenous immigrant communities, youth and women, assessing more of what are the needs, what are the assets, how are they organizing. We're getting along in, in age and I don't uh, have the, the vigor <laughs> and the, uh, the, the drive that I had when I was 25, but those that are 25 can really uh, uh, feel like they're making headway in this world, doing something worth it. And I think they are, so I want to help them. hundred years, the AFSC community has engaged in courageous acts at key moments in history. We invite you to be a part of our next century of courageous action, for justice and for peace in the world.